For its 43rd edition, the Dakar Rally will be for the second consecutive year in Saudi Arabia for a new tour of the deserts. Now that the third chapter of the Dakar is open, all competitors will find again the beautiful landscapes they have discovered in 2020, but on a 100% new route. On the 4,800 kilometers of special stages, they will not ride on former tracks. Let's have a look at the race. For all competitors, scrutineering will take place on January the 1st and 2nd in Jeddah. The Dakar Rally race will start on January the 2nd with a prologue of 10 kilometers outside Jeddah. This year, competitors will start their 12 stages of the Dakar adventure through the south to Wadi Al Dawasir before going back to the north, reaching Hale, the main Saudi motorsport city for the rest day. The second week of the race will start with a marathon stage and then competitors will come back to the famous city of Neom and three last days close to the Red Sea. The 2021 Dakar also takes a trip down memory lane with the launch of the Dakar Classic. In parallel with the main race, a test of consistency will be held for vehicles that took part in the Dakar or other major rally raid events before the year 2000. The cars and trucks that forged the legend of the Dakar will be making a comeback. In time for Chapter 3. Everyone is eager to find the Porsche 911, the Volkswagen Hiltis and Buggy Sunhill again on the Dakar. Dakar 2021 will welcome 555 competitors, among them around 54 for the Dakar Classic, participating in the race and a total of 321 vehicles. That's 129 bikes and quads, including 35 original by Motul, 70 cars, 54 lightweight vehicles, prototypes and SSVs, 42 trucks, 26 Dakar Classic vehicles. The field will include 16 women, 49 different nationalities, 144 rookies, and 83 legends, competitors with more than 10 Dakars under the belt. This year, the sporting team have focused on slowing down the vehicles to make the race even safer and more technical. Some innovations have been introduced to improve the safety of the competitors. To highlight danger zones, competitors will receive an audio warning in the approach of the difficulty to keep them alert. Certain tricky and hazardous sectors will be categorized as slow zones where the speed limit is 90 km an hour. No tire changes will be allowed during the marathon stage and each elite bike rider will be granted a total of six rear tires for the entire rally. Airbag vests are now mandatory for all the bike and quad competitors. They can reduce the severity of injury in a serious crash. And finally, distribution of the roadbook will be done every morning 15 minutes before the start of the stage.